I met Taylor Swift uh, for the first time at the Billboard Awards. Everyone wants to know what you guys were looking at on that phone. <laughs> Hi, Harper's Bazaar. This is Molly Ringwald, and today we're going to be looking back at some of my fashion moments over the years. This is Fashion Flashback. If you had to sum up your style in just a couple words, how would you sum it up? I think my style is pretty eclectic, but 80s hairstyles can stay in the 80s. <laughs> okay, the first outfit. This is my very first premiere. I picked this out myself. I remember asking my parents if I could spend what I thought was a pretty significant amount of money. I think it was like $200 at the time. I like the, the pleating here. I like the sleeves. I liked the color. I completely stand by this look. I love everything about it. I would totally wear that today. This shot is from The Breakfast Club. The top, I think, was originally cream colored and then it was dyed this pink color. I was really into the long skirt. It was not exactly what you would expect of her, but there was something that I thought was very kind of elegant about it. The whole thing just, you know, along with the diamond stud earrings just looked really kind of rich, and she was. What do you remember from the original look? There was kind of a mishap with my costume for The Breakfast Club, and I didn't really think that it was great for her character. When it actually arrived, I think the color was really off. It was also much more 80s. It was kind of triangular, and I feel like the movie would have looked a lot more dated had I been in that outfit. I think one of the things about The Breakfast Club that actually keeps it from seeming too dated is the fact that all of our wardrobes are things that, you know, you could wear now. And I really felt like Claire's archetype would be very Ralph Lauren. It just seemed to make more sense. So this is the prom dress from Pretty in Pink. This was done by Marilyn Vance, and the dress is so iconic now, I really hated it at the time. It was not really what I had envisioned. What was your initial reaction when you saw this dress? I cried, and I burst into tears. No one can really look good in this dress. <laughs> this, is not a, this is not a very flattering dress. I mean, it looks good on this part, the, the halter. It's just the sort of like inverted, triangle, which was really very much big in the 80s. Considering that Andy was supposed to be this great fashion designer, I thought like maybe she should have pursued something else. <laughs> I kept everything from this movie with the exception of the dress. And it's too bad I would love it now, but I still have that bag actually that I have. My daughter borrowed it the other day for a party she went to. What would you tell your younger self now about this dress? just to have a sense of humor about it, I guess. And if you can look good in this dress, you can look good in everything. This was from Chanel for the 59th Academy Awards. I still have it. I remember going with my boyfriend at the time, Adam Horvitz. He was wearing a thrift shop tuxedo and really, really wanted to have a boom box on his shoulder and I wouldn't let him because I, I thought it would be disrespectful and I was a good girl. <laughs> now I kind of regret I should have I should have let him have the boombox. I love the dress. I think it's very chic and very simple and a lot shorter than a lot of the gowns that people were wearing. There was originally a different uh, plan for my hair and it didn't kind of go the way that I wanted it to. I think I'd probably use a different handbag. I think I don't know exactly what I'm holding there, but I don't really think it was great. <laughs> Well, I don't really know what I am wearing underneath, but it's a vintage like swing coat. It looks very festive. I don't think that I have that boa, but I have the coat and I think that I have the bag that I have underneath there. It was like a little Prada bag. I keep everything and usually everything that I get rid of, I remember and regret. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm a little bit of a clothes hoarder. And they always say, you know, if you don't wear something for two years, get rid of it. But you know, I won't wear something for 20 years and then I'll wear it the first time and I love it. This was a Badgley Mishka and I still have this dress. The dress was just very princessy. It was very Grace Kelly. So that's why I think I'm wearing the gloves. And I liked it with my hair. I liked having my hair that short. That's a Prada satin clutch that I still have. 
I think if I did it today, I, I just wouldn't wear the stockings. Is there anything that you look for when you're doing fittings for outfits like this? I like things to be cut well. I'm really just sort of looking for how I feel when I put it on. You kind of know as soon as you put it on whether you feel powerful or, or pretty or whatever it is that you want to feel. I think this is a vintage dress that I got. I went to a store once and I just bought so much stuff at the store because everything fit me. It was just one of those really great nights. And then I think I'm wearing sort of like a wrap over that, which I still have. Oh, that was a really great little bag, which I lost. It had like a little cocktail on it. It was really cute. When I first got into vintage clothes, people didn't necessarily know what they had, and you could just find these incredible, you know, 20s beaded dresses, but everybody knows what it is now, so it's much harder to find things for, for nothing. But I still really love buying vintage. I will shop anywhere. It's kind of my superpower. <laughs> The next, this was for the Academy Awards by the designer and friend of mine, Todd Thomas. I originally wanted my dress, I think, to be white, but they weren't letting anyone wear white that year. Well, they said they weren't, and then Sarah Jessica Parker showed up in a white dress. She didn't get that memo. <laughs> we just decided that the purple would look good with my hair, and I've always loved Alexander Calder's jewelry. Not that many women had worn it, you know, like Georgia O'Keeffe, Angelica Houston at one point. I thought it was way cooler than wearing diamonds. I felt very cool. This was for the Billboard Awards. Fit me well. I tend to like wearing halters just because I think that I have good shoulders and I had been working out felt good. I just, I like how simple it is. I would totally wear this now. It went well with the hair. I was blonde at the time. I think I've always just sort of part of me has wanted to be a blonde because my brother and sister were both blondes and I always felt like I really should be a blonde, but now I look better with red hair. I just have to face it. I met Taylor Swift for the first time at the Billboard Awards and she was great. Everyone wants to know what you guys were looking at on that phone. <laughs> I think we were just exchanging numbers. She was really nice. I think that she's amazing, and she was always really super lovely with me. This dress is made by Zach Posen, who is a friend. It's such a glamorous dress, so well made. It has that one sleeve that, you know, from different angles, it's just very sculptural. I felt like I was like a million feet tall. I think I was wearing pretty high heels. Anytime I wear red, I feel very powerful. The second I put it on, I thought, this is it. This is what I want to wear. Zach Posen did the Truman Capote black and white ball gowns, and that's how we met. What was your favorite look that Zach did for the show? I mean, my favorite, I think, would just be the one that I was wearing. But when I saw the show, I just, I loved all of the dresses. He didn't copy the dresses that were made. It was really more like he sort of interpreted them. Thanks for going down memory lane with me and everyone tune in to Feud. It's great.